So today um, was supposed to be the last day of incubation and then tomorrow, day 19, you can see we're on day 18 here, um, my plan was to take out all the egg turners and begin lockdown where you get the humidity up and um, let them go for three days and then the majority of them should have hatched by then. And so I had opened it up, I was candling some, I have found some eggs to be more full of the chicken itself where you candle them and you really can't see um, anything on the bottom. You can see the air pocket on the top, but you really, it's full. And then others seem to have some room um, still at the bottom for the chick to fill in. So it's possible that we're gonna see um, different hatch times and where we're gonna have to, uh, oh, you can see the egg turner turning at the moment. All right, so it's possible we're gonna see a staggered hatch. We're gonna have to take some chicks out and then we're gonna have to let the rest of them keep going. Um, but this one shocked me because it was already pipping out and I had opened it up, which is a big no-no to try and candle them, take a look. You can see there's a little blood that's come out that's a little concerning. Um, and some has dripped down to the bottom here. So I took out just the first um, section of egg turner, which you can do with this unit, this Asian 56 egg uh, incubator. And um, we're gonna keep an eye on this guy. Now opening him up could shrink that little membrane in there and um, make it harder for him to get out. That little membrane can get dried out and it makes it impossible for them to pip through and to break out. Um, if you open it up and the humidity goes down, then it can kill them. But I have successfully helped chicks that, boy, I had all different kind of hatch times because I had abandoned eggs from a broody chicken. And actually several broody chickens decided to just leave their job. And so I've been able to get them out very gently without a lot of blood loss. Um, getting the egg off with that membrane can pull, I've read, feathers off and cause them to bleed where the umbilical cord attaches to the inside of the egg. Um, but I've had some do just fine. And they're actually the ones that bonded with me the most and think I'm their mom. <laughs> so anyway, this little guy, we're going to keep an eye on him. And um, common... Uh, wisdom says that you give them about 24 hours and then start to help them out if they can't do it on their own. If It could be a shrunken membrane, it could be that it's just a weak chick um, in general, but you give them about 24 hours to do what they're able to do on their own and if they can't then, then you can very very gently help them and then of course warm them up and get them dried off and um, and then uh, many, many times they should be just fine. But we'll continue to track our hatch. This one is ahead of the others. Um, and we'll see how the rest of it goes.